I'm Simon Starling. Um, I'm an artist, and um, we're here in uh, Tate's and Ives. Um, and I've just finished the um, installation of a quite large exhibition, which runs through the five galleries. When I, when I um, came to St Ives to um, visit the, the galleries here, um, I, uh, of course, was sort of struck by this very particular relationship the, the museum has, has to, the, to the sea, um, and to this incredible beach here we can see through the enormous window. And um, it brought to mind uh, an exhibition that I'd made in, um, in Orkney um, in a fantastic little gallery called the Pier Art Centre in Stromness. What we've done is reconstructed two of the galleries from Stromness from the pier uh, on this kind of scaffolding structure so that the view through the window of the Pier Art Centre becomes, of course, the sea here in the St. Ives. There's a ship inside, well, there's two ships actually, a project of mine made in Scotland um, called Autozylo Pyrocyclophoros, which is a kind of self-defeating voyage made on a small wooden steamboat, which involved feeding the, the, the boat to its boiler in order to facilitate the journey. And of course, eventually we ran out of boat and the whole thing kind of went down into the murky depths of Loch Long um, in, on the west coast of Scotland. The curator of the exhibition, um, Martin, observed that it, it kind of felt like a ship in a bottle, which is quite a nice uh, way of thinking about this sort of, it's like a parasitic structure that seems to have, I don't know, landed miraculously from somewhere else. And um, it's um, kind of gazing out with its two window eyes at the sea, kind of, I don't know, maybe dreaming about strongness, I don't know. So it's, uh, yeah, here it is. There's a number of works in the exhibition which um, that look at the relationship between sort of material and images. Um, there's, there's a work, One Tongue Two, which um, is an image of a platinum mine made using a kind of outdated um, form of platinum um, photographic printmaking, as well as a sort of sculptural, sort of physical sense to the work. There's, there's also a, a, a kind of an economic sort of global geography to the, to the work as well. And I'd, I'd heard about the Cornish um, china clay uh, quarries from, you know, I don't know, coming to Cornwall as a kid maybe, or was it, anyway, it was in the back of my mind and um, it was, um, yeah, it's, I, I, I often like to sort of, I don't know, ground the, the sort of exhibition making in, 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 in the local sort of scene as I've done with the with the, with the pier here, and it, it just seemed a very natural thing in relation to some of the work, other works that I've been making over the last five years to sort of go and see that place and um, and, and, and to think about how, how that could become part of the, the, the exhibition.